So what I'm going to talk about today is the GeoNet Global RTK Network and how using the GeoNet Global RTK Network can enhance and speed up the process of LiDAR HD mapping. I'm also going to introduce uh, a couple of partners that work with GeoNet to utilize the GeoNet RTK Network for uh, HD mapping and for LiDAR scanning and for assisting in drone flight. And then I'll finally end up with a, a link that you can use to get access to the global network of uh, GeoNet RTK stations. So what is GeoNet? GeoNet is building the world's largest network of GNSS RTK reference stations. Um, we're providing global coverage, both in the EU, here in Germany, we have about 200 stations, um, also in the United States, uh, working on adding stations in India, Middle East, South America, Africa, so really anywhere that you have a job or potential equipment that needs to use an RTK service, GeoNet strives to have uh, accurate, precise coverage for you. The service consists of both a real-time service um, and also Renix files for use in post-processing, and we provide open data access uh, to the stations worldwide. So some of the key features is that the RTK service provides accuracy to less than two centimeters. Uh, quick convergence uh, to uh, RTK fixed within 15 seconds. The GeoNet stations are uniformed and consistent. So all the stations are the same uh, receiver and the same antenna. Um, those stations include support for GPS, Galileo, Beto, and GLONASS, as well as all three uh, frequencies, L1, L2, and L5. And connectivity to the GeoNet network is through standard in-trip. So your drone controller um, will already support connectivity into the GeoNet network, um, and that's standard R RTCM 3.2. To give you an idea, what's unique about the GeoNet network is it's always growing. So people are adding stations to it every day. I'll talk a little bit about how you add a station to it. But to date, we have over 3,000 stations, roughly 1,500 here in Europe, uh, about 1,000 in North America. Um, and again, they're all uniformed, uh, calibrated antennas. The majority of the stations are triple band, and the network is, is monitored. Now, if in the event that there is no GeoNet station in your locality and you want to add one, it's easy to add one. You can buy a $700 receiver um, and add it to the GeoNet network. This acts as what we call a satellite miner, and it also provides to whoever sets up the station uh, ongoing rewards in the form of a cryptocurrency token. We perform real-time monitoring of all of the GeoNet stations. So when you go to the job site, you can be assured that the RTK signal quality will be good and that the data will be precise. That is done by an uh, ongoing PPP monitoring software that's measuring each station location to within a couple millimeter accuracy and also monitoring the signal quality at all times. Anytime there is any station that isn't performing to the high enough accuracy level, it's pulled offline and alternate stations are used for the service. The GeoNet network is also very unique in providing very enhanced data security. Um, now with GPS spoofing and GPS jamming, it's very easy to mess up uh, GNSS uh, signals. So the GNSS network takes, uh, the GeoNet net network takes extra steps to provide deeper level of data security in the GNSS network than other uh, RTK providers do. Um, and this is in form of two steps. One is a use of a crypto chip inside of the, each station to authenticate the data and the use of the global ephemeris data to protect against spoofing. So now I want to move to the use case of the GeoNet RTK network and drone scanning. And there are really two primary use cases. One is in-flight. And in the in-flight application, you're doing precise drone control um, and flight control. And so this is where your controller will stream data uh, from the GeoNet network to the uh, drone. And the drone's onboard RTK receiver will use it to do precise hover, to do precise flight. The second use of GeoNet and drone scanning is for post-flight PPK. So all 3,000 stations were saving the data at all times. And that means that you can take the Renix files from the GeoNet network and input them into post-processing for rapid uh, post-processing of data. Um, 
the steps to use the GeoNet network on an in-flight basis, you first connect the flight controller to the GeoNet network or a GeoNet partner. So GeoNet lets partners uh, reuse the data and provide it to customers. And I'll give some examples of that. That's through the in-trip protocol. The drone controller then streams RTK corrections to the drone. Uh, and then the drone flies with centimeter accurate control. And finally, you can add to that package an optional high accuracy inertial measurement unit that will allow for uh, better performance in GPS contested environments. And I'll talk about that in a second as well. Following the flight, you can do the post-flight PPK to get a more high accuracy trajectory of the data that was collected during the flight. Um, the steps for that are to download the Renix file for the nearest GeoNet station um, at the appropriate time. Uh, use post-processing software to get a enhanced accuracy trajectory. Um, and then geo-reference the point cloud using uh, standard point cloud processing tools. I provided here a list of four example um, PPK processing packages that we've worked with, including the uh, shuttle software from Geosun, who's here in this hall with a booth. Um, other post-processing options include the SPG Q Inertia, uh, Trimble Postpack, and Atlantic's Inertial Explorer. So from that process of data field collection, then you can go through and do your normal point cloud cl processing, colorizing the point cloud, and doing uh, back-end uh, data recognition and AI, whatever the, the case may be, um, to get an accurate geospatial data set. So the next thing I want to talk about is some of the partners of the GeoNet network. Um, the first partner I wanted to mention, which uh, announced uh, recently support for using GeoNet RTK, is Anello Photonics. They provide a very unique high accuracy inertial measurement unit that's an order of magnitude more accurate than what's found on standard drones. And this can become important in places where the drone flight will be in a contested environment or an area with known uh, difficult GNSS conditions, such as uh, a lot of tree coverage, um, big buildings, um, or in areas where there might be active jamming and spoofing. One of the key things with current uh, drone flight control systems, if there is any problem with GPS, most drones will move into an autopilot hold mode and simply uh, land and won't let you continue the mission. So this is an important technology for using the um, using drones in more difficult uh, GNSS environments. Another uh, commercial partner of the GeoNet network that provides a complete end-to-end -end, uh, solution for uh, drone scanning is Rock Robotic. They sell a drone scanning package. They have a cloud processing software. And their uh, use of GeoNet network helps them speed up the time to go to deploy in the field. So instead of setting up a base station, waiting for that base station to align, you can just go out and fly. And then it directly connects the correct base station data into the post-processing pipeline and really automates the process of uh, collecting data without the need to set up a local base station. Another example GeoNet partner is Moss Geospatial. So Moss Geospatial is a distributor in the United States of Faro and the Recipe and StoneX hardware. They're setting up uh, a network of GeoNet stations in Washington State and are supporting DJI Inspire 3 users to do uh, rapid um, geospatial data collection uh, using the GeoNet network. Another example of a GeoNet partner is Geosun. They're here in uh, the booth C1025. And they make a wide range of very affordable LiDAR scanners for both drones and mobile applications, as well as handhelds. And again, data collected from their system is easily compatible with station data from GeoNet, enabling rapid uh, post-processing and LiDAR, H, uh, LiDAR HG map generation. So I wanted to end with really a summary, um, which is that you can try the GeoNet network now. It's really a unique and revolutionary RTK service. Um, and the uh, scale of it, the number of stations that it has, and the cost and affordability of it. The GeoNet is at uh, booth A25.96. Um, and we have a special going on at Intergeo where if you sign up for the service um, with, at the show, you can uh, receive a three-month uh, free trial, which means you have access to all the stations globally for three months at no cost. And this is just some final project links for the GeoNet project. <laughs>